So what is the best advice that I can give you for studying the JLPT? The best advice I can give you is to study. Minasan, ohayou gozaimasu. Wakai zaku desu. Welcome back to the channel. Today is a big day, important day. Today I am writing the JLPT, the Japanese language proficiency test. And today I'm going to be writing the N4, N4. It's my first time taking this test. And at this point, I have been in Fukuoka in Japan for a kukagetsu, about nine months. I have been studying formally for about the nine months with the Genki Jacks Language School in Fukuoka. So for about the past month, I've been strictly studying for the N4, the JLPT. And my test today is going to happen at Fukuoka Daigaku, Fukuoka University. So that's pretty fitting that I get to take uh, the Japanese language exam at a university. So in this video, I'll explain a couple things about what to be aware for and some best advice about the JLPT. So walking up to the campus here, there's a number of students taking the test today. I don't know how many. We're all divided into different classrooms. Some of my fellow students at Genki Jacks are taking the test here as well at the Fukuoka Daigaku. Other students are taking it at a dozen other places in the city. Uh, today is January 7th, 2024. Uh, this is one of the days out of the two in the year that the test is conducted. Uh, it's today and there's also another one in December and that is worldwide. So no matter where you are in the world, it is the same day, same test day for everybody. There are probably thousands and thousands of people taking the JLPT today across the planet. And in my classroom today, of course, well, I believe we are all foreigners. <laughs> Most of the fellow students here are from other countries. Uh, I believe the majority might be Indonesian, Malaysian, Filipino. And I do know that uh, many students actually come to Japan to take the test from their home country. They do have the option to take it in their home country, of course, uh, but maybe a testing center isn't practical for them, or maybe they're a student here otherwise actually studying at Fukuoka Daigaku or another institute like me. But I do have the intention to stay here long term in any case. So my test is today. I'm taking N4. It's the fourth level of Japanese. N5 is the basic. N4 is next level. Three, two, one is technically fluent. But of course, when you are taking a test, such as a language test, you want to study for the test. It's difficult to study the language and write the test, if that makes sense. If you've taken a language test before, when you study for a language test, you study for the test, the structure of the test. You want to get your timing down. Uh, in the JLPT, there's three sections. There's a grammar, like a, a, a bunpo and kotoba. So you're studying sentences and words, vocabulary. And then there's the second part. Well, the first part is uh, kanji and kotoba. So you're matching up kanji and hiragana. The second part is kotoba, grammar, bun. And then the third part is listening. So over the past month, I have been studying using a couple JLPT specific N4 textbooks, which are geared uh, for me knowing all the kanji that may show up on the test and which is suitable for the N4 level and the structure of the questions and listening as well. I've also been taking some practice tests. Not strictly, there are definitely some uh, official uh, and semi-official tests that you can take, some practice tests, so you can get your timing down and get the flow of how the actual test day will go. Uh, I've been breaking it up into days. I've been doing kind of little sections. That's how the books are designed. You're supposed to do one lesson per day, but I would do about three or four, depending, and usually at least a kanji lesson, a listening lesson, and a grammar lesson, at least one per day, if not more. And each lesson can take, depending on your proficiency, anywhere from two minutes to 10 minutes. And then there's semi-practice tests as well, which can take anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes. And there's usually about 18 or 25 questions, give or take. So I highly recommend those types of study books. Let me just break down how the day actually went. So my test was supposed to start at 12.30. That's what time you're recommended to be here at your testing center. Doors open 30 minutes before that time. Actually doors open here, which my timing said quarter to 11, 11.45. I got here just about that time. Went straight into my classroom, which I found just up the way here. And there was 214 students uh, in the classroom. That's what the uh, the proctor, the main proctor, kept saying at the front to make sure that the tests are counted. And there should be 254 gakusei students in the class or people. So I'm calling everybody a student. I just assume that you're a student because you're studying Japanese and taking an exam. Anyway, in my experience, I can't say this is what will happen for you, but in my experience and what happened today is the test does not start at 12:30 like the 
voucher said. That's what time the prep begins. So you get in, whatever time, the doors are open, you can sit down, whatever you find your seat, you're assigned a number and that's where your seating is. And I have my, my seat, my desk, seat next to me is empty, and then another person so that we can't necessarily see each other's answers or cheat off each other. So in the room where there are a number of proctors, there's a main proctor who gives announcements throughout the day and what's expected in the process. He tells you what you should and should not have on your desk, what's allowed during the test. You will receive a yellow card as a warning if you're caught doing anything that's not allowed during the test, such as cheating or looking at your phone or a smartwatch or cheat sheet or whatever else it might be, or falling asleep or drinking or eating, you'll get a warning, just like a game of soccer, I guess, soccer no shiai, and you'll get a red card if you are immediately disqualified for any of those reasons. So you can get one yellow card per lesson, per section I mean. If you get two, that's pretty much an automatic red card. And a red card means you're just out. Uh, you will get kicked out of the test. It will not be marked, it will not be graded. You're just gone, zero tolerance for that. So they come around, uh, they start checking your face so that it matches what they have uh, on your voucher card as well. They have a color version and they check to make, to make sure that you're sitting at the right desk. They do this for all the students and all the while the main proctor is giving announcements. <laughs> And then they hand out the answer sheet first. So it's like a scantron kind of circle multiple choice. The whole JLPT is purely multiple choice. There's no writing, there's no speaking. It's all just mark your answer from the Mondai text from the paper. Then you write your answer on the scantron. And then they give out the actual uh, exam but you can't open until they actually say that you can open it. So you put your number on front, you put your name on the front just to make sure that it all matches up. And then how'd you make my show? We can start, let's begin. So the first part was 18 questions? No, no, 27 questions? <laughs> I don't really remember, but I think we were given 35 minutes for that. It seemed like it was 15 minutes, it went by really quick. It was the kanji and kotoba one, so matching up kanji and hiragana. An interesting thing about this kanji book is that it uh, comes with the answers in the back of the book. And what's also great about that is that it actually just comes right out. You can refer to it whenever you need it. Instead of flipping back and forth, you can just have it right ready for you whenever you need it. Some of the kanji I've never seen before. Some of the hiragana, I didn't recognize any of those words. Uh, so not sure how well I did on that part. And then there's a short break. And then it goes into the next part, which was uh, bun and kotoba, more grammar and sentences. And then there, the last part was listening, which was about 55 minutes, give or take. So like I said, the timings don't actually start on time. Each time that there's a break, the proctor comes, checks your number, checks your face, checks you off, make sure that you're sitting in the right place and the right person you're supposed to be. They do this for all students. They make sure that your phone is put away. Nothing else is on your desk except for a pencil and an eraser. And pizza to keshigomo. Okay, that's it. That's all you can have. You can't eat, you can't talk, you can't drink, you can't smoke, you can't dance on the desk. You just got to sit there and do the test. So it is nerve wracking, of course, with the tests that I had. Uh, of course, you can kind of cheat and you're kind of more relaxed. I'm at home, I'm in a relaxed state. I can kind of take my time with them, but still trying to get my timing down. In the real world, when you're doing the actual test, of course, your mind wanders, the brain fog takes over, your anxiety goes up, and you start wondering about uh, if you know any Japanese at all. Uh, uh, so, and then at the end of the day, it wraps up complete, you hand all your test papers back. Well, actually, uh, at, at every break, you give your test papers back. Uh, the proctors collect them, and then you get the new one for the next session. So on the whole, you'll want to set aside around five hours for the day. Like I said, I got here around quarter to 12 this morning, 11.45. Testing technically started at 12.30, and we didn't end the day until about quarter to five. So what is the best advice that I can give you for studying the JLPT? Well, the best advice I can give you is to study. Now, of course, study Japanese in general, however that uh, may suit you. But of course, study for the actual exam. You'll want to get some uh, official or likewise material textbooks that mocks the test. You want to take mock tests. You want to actually pre-write the test in all sections for the kanji, for the kotoba, the grammar, and the listening. So you can pace yourself and see how the actual structure and the flow of the test will go. That helps immensely. Of course, the easy part is, is that the test is completely multiple choice. Like I said, there's no speaking, there's no writing involved. There is some memo taking, if you so choose, especially in the last part of the listening. 
There's no uh, visuals. Uh, it's just purely listening, so you can take memos if you want. But it goes by so fast that if you're not a fast writer, you probably won't have time. I definitely didn't. And the questions just come one right after another. Watch YouTube videos, uh, for sure, if you want to be a visual and audible learner at the same time. There's so many videos online that mock the exact test, pretty much. The listening part is especially useful, so it will show you the visuals on screen and you can listen. And there's also subtitles and it will give you the answer at the end of it. It's nicely paced out, mocks the test perfectly. Highly recommend those as well. Uh, there's apps you can use, dozens and dozens of apps. Just look on your app store and you can find something, I'm sure. But definitely take the time to do it. If you're studying for whatever level you're studying for and one, two, three, four, five, take at least the two months to really strictly practice the test daily. It will help you a lot. I only took about a month, give or take, slightly less than that because my school set up everything. Everything was provided through Genki Jacks. I didn't have to pay anything because it's already paid with the school. I did buy additional textbooks on my own, which I got a discount through my school. But all I had to do was just go online and actually check my information and apply formally that way. Everything else was handled by the school, which makes it really easy. However, if I want to take the test again, that's on my own. I have to pay my own way and set up everything on my own. And by that time, I'll have graduated from Genki Jacks anyway, which by this time is about two months away, a little more than two months away. So yeah, if you are taking the test, let us know how it's going for you. If you're studying, what practices you're using, how you're gearing up for whatever level you're studying. And of course, leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more stuff coming along the way. And wherever you are, I wish you the best in your Japanese studies. Kanbatte, kanbaremashou.